What's up everyone, it's DV and I'm back in survival game. I'm gonna be showing you how to make really cool castles like this one and bases, hopefully without any rain, cause man, California has been like this all month. I swear, it's been like this all month in California. This is what my street looks like. It's insane, I almost, I just need a boat like that. But yeah, so before I jump in and show you all the different techniques that I like to use for building castles, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because you know what, most of you haven't subscribed yet. And the last time someone didn't subscribe, little mini DV started crying, dude, and I could not get him to stop. Don't, don't do that to me again please make sure you subscribe so you can see i've got a bunch of stuff here i built this crazy looking castle honestly this is like one of the coolest rock for building on because look at this like there's no way in except for there so if you're looking for a really good spot for a castle this is like sweet this is like best of the best okay you cannot get into this place there's only one entrance and so picking a really good spot is very very important with your builds just like in real life right this is like the perfect castle because you're protected by water so you can see people coming on boats so you don't really want to be in like you know open open plains kind of in the middle of nowhere because everyone could raid you from any direction whereas this spot you can pretty much focus on your gate anyone that breaks the stuff you can pretty much continue to defend now for the most part i did fill in most gaps um it's kind of hard for people to get in here but i kind of made this look like a kind of ghost town broke some of the buildings up added some like you know gel cells added some like random boards here and there didn't really go all out on a castle kind of filled to this but this is kind of what i did for this particular island now like i said you got to find a really good spot for you know defending your base so like I like high up points, you know, stuff that has cliffs are really nice. But ultimately you want to be like, have a central point, like a choke point, right? That's pr that's why I love this island because there's a, just a single choke point for the majority of players. Most players aren't going to bother going on, you know, around the map. Now they're just kind of crazy into parkour and stuff. I haven't really seen that many players do that. Now the next type of spots that I like, especially if I'm looking for a really good spot for my base is going to be any place that has like really good iron deposits because you want iron or resources. Well, in that case, you're going to want something with like a nice mine. There are specific spots like, you know, the statues, the two giant statues over there. They have like a really good iron deposit, probably one of the best in the game. Uh, but there's all kinds of like iron deposits throughout the map. But again, like any of these places that have like nice, you know, cliffs are it's perfect. Like I like this kind of setup here because no one can really climb that very easily. Pretty much most players are going to kind of like come up this hill. This is a really wide path. I don't really like that. They can get around easily. Um, you're going to be chasing them all over the place. So I don't really like this spot. It's It seems nice, but it's not. Same with that one over there. This one's not bad. I actually really like this one. So I'm probably going to set up over here. Although I really, really like the, you know, the two giant statue area at the very top. There's like a little segment of grass over there that I really like. Um, but this is a really good spot. What I like about this spot is this is the only way people can get up is through here. And then there's like another path on the other side or through caves. They can go come up through the cave. But you can pretty much control this. I did this solo. It was not hard at all. Like you basically just camp the top. You can see everyone coming up. That's a really good spot, um, especially since you have all these, you know, trees up here too. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to show you this one. So this is a really good spot. If you're willing to defend your base, like and set up something really nice, you could do this area. It's kind of hard to defend because you can see there's like so many like different points in and out. This is the statue area that I'm showing you now. It has like one of the best iron deposit spots. There's another iron deposit down there as well. All right, so what I'm going to show you is my favorite spot. You probably saw this in my like last video. It is one of my favorites because look how long it takes you to get up here. Now you could of course like do a little bit of rock climbing and such, but most people take main paths because their stamina gets low and you could be shooting them with arrows on their way up. But you can see there's not many ways up to this like this hill this is a great spot so you can either protect down here like you can wall it off right here or you can wall it off right here what i'm going to do since it's going to be more aesthetically pleasing is we're just going to wall it off right here and we're going to start off with the castle gate now i really like the castle gate because it's strong and so we're going to set it up like right here so we don't have to build so much you don't want like a big area around this because people are just going to break it all and that's going to close going to open it so we can get in and out of it once we start building and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a castle wall so what you want to do is just touch the edge See how it's not snapping yet? Just kind of move your mouse around until it's like kind of in the middle of the object and at the end, and you'll see how it snaps. Now, once it snaps, you can rotate. So watch this, I'm gonna do this side. So once it snaps right there, now I can hit R to rotate it. You see, I, it basically pivots around the joint. So we're gonna move it like about right here. And that's important because we don't want people like getting over, right? So we wanted to kind of go off the side of the um, the cliff side because we don't want to be able to jump around it. So it's important that it does hang off a bit. Then we're gonna do the same for this side. And then we're gonna actually make it go into the mountain like that. And then we're gonna connect to this and we're gonna continue this down. So let's go and snap that and go straight. And then we're pretty much gonna do this all the way over. And you wanna make sure like they can't like get under it. 
And even if they somehow find a way to climb up the rocks, you want to make sure it's still hard for them. So you're gonna, you're pretty much gonna do this all the way around the cliffs. Because some people just know how to get up stuff, no matter what you do. And it looks cooler, honestly. We're, we're making something cool. Not just about like practicality, it's about making something cool, right? So we're gonna turn that. And I think everything just looks cleaner if you connect it. If you use the snaps, it just looks so much better. All the way, and then we're gonna probably end up right here into the mountain, like that. And then we're gonna do another layer of um, walls up here so that if someone does climb this side right here, they can't just get in. So we're gonna do something like right there, connect it. And what I like about this game's building is that you can kind of um, go into the ground and stuff. Like it doesn't like block you from building where you wanna go. And we're gonna go straight into the mountain like that. So we don't really need to do a wall up here. Probably put a tower up here and a couple other things cause it looks cool. We don't really need it up there. Um, we do need a wall off this though, because if they get over this, it's gonna be a problem for us. So we kind of need a wall off right here. And then I'm gonna build upwards anyway on this. So it should be okay. Now, before I continue on this, I do wanna show you a couple things about the HP for these like hit points. Okay, so this is like, this is the castle wall. There's a six by six. Um, this is a smaller wall. There's the castle gate. There's a stone window. And then you've got like obviously smaller pieces here. You got stone stairs and then you got the stone door. So it took 32 hits for the stone window, which is about 1600 HP, that's a lot. It's the same for a stone wall. It's only 26 hits to a stairs, so it wasn't as much. It was like 32 for, um, for everything else so far. So I've already hit it, the castle wall 32 times, and it looks like this is like 5,000 HP. Yeah, it looks like they're the same exact HP. So castle gate and castle wall are pretty much 5,000 HP. That's why we use them, because they're like the strongest block in the game currently that I know of. But um, the other blocks, like a regular six by six, is it's only gonna be 1,600 HP. Now, by the way, if you didn't already know this, like if you're totally new to the game, um, when you go to the build tool, you can actually destroy these very easily. You don't have to use your ax and stuff to destroy stuff. Just hit the destroy button. Now there is a timer on that. I don't really know how long it is. I think there's, uh, it's probably like a minute or two. I'm not sure. It's probably actually several minutes. And after the object's been in the world too long, then you can't actually destroy it after a while. So make sure you destroy it if you need to before you can't. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another layer of walls. Again, is just doing a second layer of this. I would also make sure you line it up nicely or else it's gonna look kind of funky. So we got that right there. We're gonna just do the same thing. We're gonna snap. Um, obviously you can shift R to rotate. So we're just gonna double layer this. We're only gonna do two layers. We don't need to do like a ton of layers. You don't even need to do two layers technically, but because players can wall hop and it's really annoying when they do. You see it all the time in the game. If you only have one wall, they're pretty much gonna get over. Now, after I show you this, I'm also gonna show you a cave setup. They're pretty easy. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here that we did earlier. Get real close to it, build that. And that should be enough. Actually, no, we need to do one more. We need to put one right there for those wall hoppers. So yeah, we like to keep these like really tall walls. Um, you do have an issue potentially people like hopping up at the top here, like climbing over. So we could do a little higher if, if we're having concern about that, just go a little higher on that. All right, so we got really tall walls and we need to do down here real quick. And then we are good with this section. Um, I will show you how to fill in some stuff too. If it's kind of bugging you like this right here, these gaps, I'll show you how to fill those in in a second. Let's go back up to the top. We got to do another layer up top. They can obby up this side right here. So we really need to fix that. They can kind of go off. Like I like this because it's kind of, see how it's kind of overlapping. So they can't really climb up this very easily. Make it real hard for them. See like that where you, you hang it off. So you basically do like a little zigzag. You just don't want to have them like, you don't want to like a big space like this over there. See how it's walkable because they can pretty much climb that. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to fill in these gaps. So we're going to go and take six by sixes. Actually, you can use um, six by threes as well. And you just want to put them like right on top of the previous block and you can connect them like this all the way through. And you can put it up on the, if you're worried about the visuals, you can do something like that. You can also do something like this. Looks pretty clean. Um, if there are any gaps down here, you can seal them up, but I don't, I'm not too worried about these. I'm a little worried about this one. So we can go and place these down just so it looks clean. Now, one thing that is horrible is when you can't see over your castle walls. This is horrible. You don't know if someone's attacking you or what. So what I like to do is set up like a additional like walkway on the edges here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make a bridge across so we can get easily to our walls. We don't wanna have to go down to get to our walls when we're already level to them. So let's make a little bridge here. We can also add a little wall here. They might be a little offset, but that's okay. 
continue that down so you don't fall off. Especially if you're in a hurry, you might fall off. That's the last thing you want to do. Now, if you're worried about people wall hopping, one thing you can also do is tile roof. Um, you can also use this one. It's too expensive if it's too expensive, but I like this one because it adds like color from your kingdom color. So like it's, it's default red, right? Until you join a kingdom. But what I like about this is like you can set these up so they can't easily like climb over them. And you can kind of um, double it as a walkway, which I really like. I haven't found a really good way to snap these. So you kind of stop to line them up. But again, I like these because you can kind of walk on them. You can look down over people and they can't see up. Like they can't really see you. And just so they can't crawl up this corner, let's just kind of squeeze that in. It's kind of what they do in zoos. You know, I don't know if you've ever been to a zoo, but like this is how they keep their animals in. So in our case, we're keeping people out. Plus it looks cool. All right, so we're using our bridge. We're gonna come over here. We got to do it on these as well. Honestly, it looks like very Roman too. Look at that, it looks so cool. It looks legit. And don't forget to, you can use ladders too. You don't have to like keep doing what I'm doing. You can use ladders, just do that. All right, now we just need to do the top layer here and then we're all done with that. Now, if you've never played this game and don't know how to play, I mean, it's cool that you're watching this, but you know what you should do? You should watch my tutorial. That'll get you jump started on how to play the game, you know? Now, in a scenario that you are getting overrun, you do want to have a secondary like kind of guard area. You don't want to be like, just like, okay, this is my base and we're protected. What you want to do is you do want to have another like fallback point. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that the caves, okay? So if you do get overrun, you want to head into the caves because that's where kind of where your precious resources are. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up another gate here that's going to be like right inside Something like this is good. So, and technically you could even put another gate in front of this if you really wanted to. So you could put like, if you really want to slow players down, you can even add yet another gate. So you can double gate it. I know it sounds weird, right? It's not a bad idea. Pretty much you put a gate in front of a gate. And then what we're gonna do is um, the main entrance from that is gonna be underground. And we're gonna have to do the same for the exit. So there's a couple ways in and out of this base. You definitely wanna block this area up though. Like you don't wanna use, um, you don't really want this to be an exit point. You definitely wanna do lots of castle walls on this side though, because like I would literally just layer it. Like that's one, you want them to spend forever to get into your base. Granted, it seems like a lot of material, but it's not. It's only three It's only three bricks. So just layer this so people can't get into your base. That way it's super annoying and they'll turn away after a bit. Like, dude, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste any time on this personally. So coming back up this tunnel, you can see there's two gates. So you got this one and then you got this one right here. So you can always fall back to two, right? So you close that one, close this one. They're not getting you, dude. It's gonna take them forever, but they are taking all your stuff, which is unfortunate. So what you could do is you could also put another castle wall here. Like, let's do it. Let's do it anyway. Connect another gate here. Do that. And then turn it into something like this. So again, double layer, just like, you know, in like real life, they have that. It's like a secondary defense. Like you get your village. Dude, it's excessive, but man, it's actually really good. So what I'm going to say is you should probably set it up so that all your production stuff's out here, um, all your values in here, like a vault. So consider your mines a vault. And what I would do is um, set up all your stuff like for factory production out here. I mean, we could also use up here too if we really wanted to. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. I have an idea. So why don't we build this all flat, make this whole area clean. And then we're going to add stairs to this. And then we're just going to build like this is going to be another building. So you want to get your foundation done first, obviously, before you start walling stuff up. All right, we're going to put another prefab here. We just need to line this up. All right, it's looking pretty good. We got to get rid of these before it's two to date. Yeah, so we're going to basically build this into like some kind of like throne room, except our tree came back. <laughs> My stupid tree, dude. We'll have to build around that. That's okay. Let's go and build some more stairs. In order for us to connect this cleanly, we got to put stairs up here and then we can connect them down here and then we can get rid of these. It's a little, little trick. Or yeah, in case you're trying to figure out how to like cleanly line up your stairs. So it's gonna be like this. And then we can continue building from up here. So same technique, right? So basically build your stairs on the top right here where you want them to go. Like one right there, there, and there. And then just connect to the base, like snap at the bottom like that. And then snap here. And then we can get rid of this top layer. Now we got clean stairs. Um, we just need to build walls into this so it doesn't look so ugly. So let's go ahead and build some walls, something like this. So just wall it all the way over. And you're gonna go to the edge of the stairs, go all the way down on this. So you're gonna wall all this up and rotate it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these back out. We're gonna put in our half blocks here. So we're pretty close to where we need to be. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the wedges. Connect that, do this one, this one, and that one. We can do the same here. It just covers the edges. It's not like perfect, but it's it's just a little nicer. Now, one thing we could do down here is we could just set up some tents. 
These will be like our areas for working. So we'll go over to production. We're gonna start off with just a basic workbench. Put it right here so we don't have to actually go in the tent. We'll do an iron forge. We'll do a steel smelter, blue steel, a cooking station. And then what I would do is I'd probably create like an area just for your treasure chest. Like you can store some stuff in here like that. We'll put a little gel cell over here for people that are doing bad. All right, so the next thing we need to do is let's set up a little farm over here to the soil. We don't need much. All right, there's our farm. All right, we're gonna use a stone door, but we're gonna use two of them. We're gonna stack them right on top of each other just for visuals, even though you're only gonna use one. And then we're gonna use our wall. Um, we should actually add some windows though. Let me go and do that. Put a window there, window there. Oh, you know what? Let's add some windows above it too. That looks pretty neat. So we'll open that up. We'll leave windows all the way around. We'll leave the tree in. Hey, it's our Christmas tree, okay? That's that's why it's inside there. All right, there's our windows. Um, We need to set up a throne in a minute. All right, we're gonna add another layer of windows up here. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and fill these in real quick. I'm gonna think of like something like that on the sides will look a little bit better for the stairs too. Just looks a little bit better. Sometimes you just gotta experiment with stuff, you know? It's looking kind of neat. We can use these for like columns to make kind of like Roman-like. Just gonna stack them on top of each other like that like that. I'm sure I'm not lining them up perfectly, but hey, that's okay. You get the idea. The whole idea is like when you come in here, you see the columns. That looks really cool. So let's get some chandeliers in here. One right there in the middle of there and one in the entrance. It's a little bit better. We need to build our throne area. So what we're going to do for the throne is we're going to use these ramps because it's red. So we're going to use this, do something like that, and then we'll flatten it. Looks kind of cool. Let's put it like a really big wall behind us. Maybe we'll do something like that and then this to make it more extravagant and we'll block this right here and this right here and then we'll put the throne right in the center but we need like window decorations too put those behind only behind the throne though just looks more extravagant all right and then we need our throne where's our throne at dude there it is put our throne right here put some um braziers right on the left and right we'll put torches on each of these like that Dude, I need like um, I need like a carpet or something. Is there anything I can use to make like red? Oh, we need flags too back here. There we go. Put them on. I'll hang them on the sides as well. Ooh, I can't do that. I know what to do. I know what to do. Wedges out here. Oh, perfect. Dude, that's perfect. Rotate this one. We'll add the flags to them like that. So when you're coming in, it's like, dude, it's looking pretty cool. Let's add a flag to this. Put some on the walls. I know, after a while, it's like too many flags, but we, we don't got anything else to put yet. All right, let's add some counters to this. It might look kind of cool. And then let's um, let's add some tables on the sides with some basic chairs. Before I forget, let me go do this because I'm going to forget it. So let's go and get these done. Got to get the corners done first. Put this one in the center. I mean, some of these you just have to eyeball. It's not going to be able to snap. So you can just eyeball it. Just kind of do left and right and then center it. All right, that's looking really cool, dude. That is a sweet looking castle. You know, it'd be better is if we had flags on the outside. So let's do it. And by the way, if you want to do like standing flags, kind of like um, on poles, pretty simple. You just get the wood, go to structures, get the tall wood post. So I'll do one real quick. I'll put one right here and right here. Just stack them on top of each other, put three of them. Grab your flag, rotate it. There you go. It's a little excessive, okay? It's a little excessive, but it looks cool. And let's go back in. I want to do a couple more decorations, but dude, we're, we're looking pretty set here. I wanted to add a couple more decorations for interior, like some barrels. So add a couple barrels here. Of course, everyone's enjoying some drinks. It's root beer, okay? It's root beer. We're gonna put a book right here because you gotta sign in when you're one of my guests. Let's add this. Gotta add a treasure chest. We'll add a couple chests over here. Stack them on top of each other. Yeah, dude, because we're rich. We're totally rich here. Yeah, this is just one of many ways to make a castle though. It's pretty cool. You can add some like crates outside if you want. Put a bunch of crates out here, make a whole pile of them. But yeah, this is what I would do for sure. Um, obviously, you need some guards. You need some players. Don't get locked out like I did. <laughs> Help. I mean, if you do get locked out, you can always do this, thankfully. But yeah, if you have any tips of your own, let me know in the comments below. Definitely want to see them. Lots of different things you can do. This is just one of many builds. I'll probably do like a whole build series pretty soon here of like different castle builds. But man, we are lagging now. Like I'm literally like the server is dying because I built a couple other villages I'm on the outside that are huge. They're just as big. Imagine trying to invade that. That would not be fun. Honestly, we could probably add so much to this too. Given like a couple more hours, this thing would look insane. Anyway, let me know what you think. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next vid. Peace.